Chapel, rich with tradition and history. A sport forever enduring and unchanged. Golf is pure theater. Its passion and drama has forged so many indelible personalities. These are the champions who met in golf's magnificent arena, Golf Channel Classics. Challenge Golf, starring Arnold Palmer with Gary Player. And today's challenging team, Jack Nicklaus and Mike Suchak. Hello, I'm Dick Whittinghill. Our guest team today, Mike Suchak and Jack Nicklaus, have challenged for two games, which means if they win both matches, they win fifth. $15,000. Today's match was filmed at the Palma Valley Golf Course, located in Palma Valley, California. This course is only four years old, but is already a true championship test. There are a total of 157 sand traps. The greens are undulating and tremendous in size, averaging more than 8,000 square feet each. And here is Arnold Palmer. Nice to have you with us here at Palma Valley Golf and Country Club for another round of Challenge Golf. And we'll see you on the first tee in just a moment. Challenge golf is played by best ball, which simply means the lowest score of each player wins that hole for his team. The first hole at Palma Valley is a par 5, 529 yards long. It is a dog leg right with large bunkers on both sides of the fairway. The huge green is protected by big sand traps, and a big hogback runs right through the middle. The pin today is placed in the back part of the green. The guest team has the honor on the first tee, and Jack Nicklaus is up. Before Jack was a pro two full years, he won the National Open Championship, the Masters, and the PGA, the greatest debut ever made in professional golf. Oh. Nicklaus has cut off the dog leg. He's put his drive on the right side of the fairway, and he should have an open shot to the green from there. He's out about 240 yards. He still has a long way to go on this par five hole. Mike Suchak now on the tee. Mike plays out of Grossinger's Country Club, Grossinger's New York. Such is a former football star at Duke University, one of the longest hitters in PGA ranks. Suchak cracks it right down the middle. There's a fine drive, out about oh, 235, 40 yards. Gary Player, representing the Arawak Club, Paradise Island in the Bahamas. Player hits his drive right down the middle. He's in good position, out about, oh, 225 yards. Arnold Palmer, playing out of the Laurel Valley Country Club, Ligonier, Pennsylvania. Winner of virtually every major tournament in the world, Arnold last year became the first man in history to earn more than $100,000 on the PGA Tour. And Palmer hits a fine drive. That's straight up the fairway. He's out there about 250 yards. So all four golfers are in good position as they leave the first tee at Palma Valley. Gary Player is 60 yards from the hole, right on the line with the flag after two fine wood shots. Gary will be using a wedge for his third shot here. Gary pitches it up on the green, but he's short. He will be about 24 feet from the cup. Arnold Palmer will be pitching from 40 yards away. This is his third shot. Palmer hits it. He has plenty of run. The ball goes up real close to the hole and stops six feet away. There was a fine approach shot by Palmer. Mike Suchak will be using a nine iron on his chip shot here. Now you'll have to pitch it up and over, but he has a good lie. Suchak chips it up. Oh, he hasn't hit it hard enough. Ball isn't even going to get over the hog back. In fact, it's rolling back. And it finally stops 35 feet from the hole. Jack Nicholas will be blasting out of the trap here on the first hole. Now, it's just about up to him. Palmer is six feet away. Mike Suchak left his approach 35 feet short. 
Nicholas blasts the ball out cleanly, but it appears he also held back a little too much. His shot stops below the hump of the green and about 30 feet from the cup. All four players will be putting for birdies here. Arnold Palmer is six feet away, but the other three golfers all have long putts for their birdie fours. Mike Suchak on the green in three, putting for his birdie four. Has to come up over a big mound in the green. You see this putt? It's going off to the right and by the hole about three feet. Jack's third shot out of the trap was short. It hit on the bank and came back and he'll uh, be putting for his birdie four. Jack's a very fine putter. Jack's putt is up. It's going to be short of the hole, uh, approximately three feet. Gary Player will be putting next from the left side. He'll have a putt that'll break slightly to his right. Gary putts with a slightly closed stance. Stays over the putt very well also. He's hit it by its up. It's going to miss the hole to the left and goes by about two feet. in the air and came dropped right back in the cup and that puts uh, Arnold and myself one up after the first hole. With over 900... Jack Nicklaus hit his drive 270 yards down the middle. Gary Player and Mike Suchak also hit the fairway but Arnold Palmer caught the trap on the right side of the fairway. Mike Suchak is out about 140 yards. He'll be using a nine iron here. Suchak's hit it solid, or maybe even a little too firm. The ball is on the green and stops hole high. He'll have a putt of about uh, 40 feet. Arnold Palmer hit his drive 255 yards, but he caught one of the fairway traps on the right. His ball is on a downhill slope of the trap. Palmer's going to use an eight iron here. Let's watch this swing in slow motion. Arnold's up and out. He's heading for the green. He may not have enough bite to stay on the putting surface. Now the ball rolls right to the back edge and stops. Gary Player hit his drive 255 yards down the center, but the ball rolled into a deep divot mark on the fairway. But Gary's going to have to hit down and through this shot. He'll use a nine iron. Gary's hit a fine shot from a tough lie. It looks like he'll have a putt of about, oh, 20 feet. Jack Nicklaus had a long drive here, 270 yards down the left center of the fairway. Jack has a straightaway shot of about 120 yards, and he'll use a nine iron. Jack's hit that very well. It's right on the stick, and it drops 18 inches from the hole. Oh, Nicklaus has hit a great shot. It looks like a cinch for 33 here. Mike Suchak is away, but under the rules of team play, he's asked his partner, Jack Nicholas, to putt first. Jack is 18 inches from the cup. Jack knocks it in for a birdie three, and the crowd lets him know how they like that beautiful approach shot. Now the pressure is on Palmer and Player here on the second hole if they intend to keep that one up lead. Palmer has a very tricky 40 foot putt for his birdie and a have with Nicholas.
Looks like the pet's going to break right a little bit and then maybe turn back left at the hole. Arnold is going to have to try and make this but to have the hole. Arnold's hit the putt firm enough. It's right on line. Oh! Hits the right edge of the hole and runs by about three feet. Now, Gary has about a, looks like about a 12 or 13 foot putt to have the hole, and his putt will probably break possibly just slightly to his right. It's slightly uphill and uh, slightly against the grain. Gary will have to hit the putt uh, relatively firm. Looks like Gary stroked it well. Looks like it's in. He made it. Very good putt by Gary. Have the hole. So Player matches Nicholas's birdie three with a fine putt, and after two holes, Palmer and Player remain one up. The third hole at Palma Valley is a long par three, 184 yards. Neither team could gain advantage here, so this hole was halved in regulation par. The fourth and fifth holes are long par fours, both measuring 448 yards. Again, these holes were halved in par, so after five holes of play, Palmer and Player remain one up over Suchak and Nicholas. The sixth hole is a par four, 415 yards long. This is the number one handicap hole on this fine course. It's a dog leg right with two big fairway traps on the right and large knolls on the left. A large green is also well protected by traps. On their tee shots, three of the players hit the fairway, but Mike Suchak caught that big trap on the right side. Arnold Palmer skied his drive and it traveled only 225 yards so he'll be hitting a two iron for his second shot. Oh, and Arnold's really belted that two iron. It's hooking in perfectly. The ball runs up and stops two feet past the hole. There's a great shot by Palmer. Gary Player has 180 yards to go on his second shot. He'll be using a three iron here in the sixth hole. He has an uphill or a hook lie. And how players hook that ball. It's turning left, bounces on the green, runs right past the flagstick. It stops 15 feet from the cup. Mike Suchak is in a fairway trap. Mike picks the ball off well. Now it may be short. Yes, Mike hits the bunker guarding the front of the green. So Suchak is out of one trap and into another here on the sixth hole. Jack Nicholas had the longest drive again, about 260 yards down the middle of the fairway. Jack will be hitting a five iron on his second shot here. Nicholas has pulled that shot to left side. He's going to miss the green. So Suchak and Nicholas have some trouble shots coming up on the sixth hole, while both Palmer and Player are on the green and in good shape. Mike Suchek is in the trap short of the green here at the sixth hole. He's come out very well. It's coming down and rolls past the hole about six feet. Very nice shot by Mike Suchek out of the trap. Mike, Jack's got a uh, rather difficult chip here. He's got to pitch it pretty high on the green to get close to the hole. He, uh, he really has. He's got to carry it over the, over the frog here, I guess, and, and get it about 15 feet above and let it come on down. He doesn't have anything too easy on him. We have to pitch it soft. Yes, that's right. He's hit it up, and it's going to be a little strong. It comes on by the hole about uh, five or six feet past the hole and to the left. Gary Player now will be putting from about 12 feet past and to the left of the hole. Gary Player has got about a uh, 10 to 11 foot putt here for his birdie. Palmer and Player are two up on Nicholas and Suchak. Every so often, a significant innovation comes along. And the seventh hole at Palma Valley is a par three, 189 yards long. 
The eighth hole is a par four, 432 yards long. This is a tough one, the eighth hole. Both these holes were halved in regulation pars. So going to the ninth tee, Palmer and player remain two up over Nicholas and Suchak. Now, going to the ninth tee, the pressure is really on Suchak and Nicholas because they have challenged Palmer and player for two matches and could win $15,000. The ninth hole is 392 yards, a par four, a slight dog leg right. Now the real danger on this hole pops up on the second shots. A pond runs around three sides of the green and big sand traps guard the front on both sides. Gary Player on the tee. Gary will be driving first here. He'll be driving out to the left center of the fairway. He's hit it out to the right, and it's hooking back. And he'll be in good shape in the right side of the fairway. You were going to the left. What you hit it to the right? I tell you, Sammy, you know, I know you don't believe me, but I try to hit it right. <laughs> Arnold has hit his ball up the left hand side of the fairway and uh, should be a nice position for his shot into the green. Jack's hit a drive straight up the middle and, uh, well, you can't beat that. Mike's a particularly strong fella. Mike's hit a fine drive, really straight up the middle in perfect condition. Player drove 235 yards down the right side of the fairway. He's hitting a five iron here. A Gary must carry over the water on the right side. Let's watch the shot in slow motion. Gary's figured the distance into a slight wind just about perfectly. The ball makes the green and winds up about 25 feet short of the pin. Arnold Palmer also drove 235 yards, but his tee shot hooked to the left side of the fairway. Now, he has more distance to go from that side, so Arnie's picked out a four iron. Palmer starts a shot out perfectly, but he, he might be a little too strong with that four iron. The ball bounces, goes over the green. In fact, Arnie just escapes winding up in the pond, and the ball stops right on the edge of the water. Jack Nicholas hit his drive 240 yards. He has about 160 to go here into a slight wind. He'll be hitting a five iron. Nicholas hits a fine shot. Ball is on the green just a little past the flag. And Jack will have a long downhill putt for his birdie three. Mike Suchak had the longest drive on the ninth hole, about 245 yards, splitting the center of the fairway. Mike will be hitting a five iron on his approach to this well-protected green. Suchak starts it out right on the stick, but the ball starts to hook. It may be headed for trouble. It rolls off the left bank of the green and drops into the water. It'll be a penalty stroke for Such, but with his partner on the green in two, Mike will probably pick up. Arnold Palmer has a tough spot here. He's right on the edge of the water, has a sandy lie. Arnie's going to use his sand wedge, but he wants to look this over carefully. See, he has to blast it over the hump and still have the ball hold that sloping green.
Arnie gets it up nicely from that line. The ball is running on the green. He's put a lot of bite on it, too. And the ball winds up 15 feet from the cut. Another fine shot by Palmer. Mike Suchak picked up after hitting his second shot into the water here on the ninth hole. The other three men are on the green with Player and Nicholas putting for birdies. Player will be the first to putt. Gary Player here at the ninth hole has about a 35 foot putt. Almost a straight putt. It could slide just a slight bit either way, but it's very close to being a straight putt. This is a big putt. But, uh, if he gets this uh, in the hole, of course, it would put, uh, put us in very good position. Oh, he caught the edge of the hole, and the ball uh, hit the cup, turned around it, and went on by about a foot and a half, two feet. Jack Nicholas now will be putting from in back of the hole, putting down to the hole, and he'll have about a 20-foot putt. But it looks like it'll break slightly to the left. He's hit it out on the right, and he's left it out to the right. The ball didn't take the break like Jack had uh, Figured it might, and he's uh, missed the cup to the right of the hole about one foot. And now Gary Player is left with a two-footer to have the hole. And Gary knocks it in. Well, after nine holes on uh, Challenge Golf, I think it's rather obvious that this um, beautiful Palma Country Club in Palma, California, Although comparatively new, is a rather challenging course. Palmer has one birdie. Gary Player has two birds. Nicholas one, Suchak none. At the end of nine holes, best ball score. Palmer and Player have best ball score of 32. Nicholas and Suchak, 34. So at the end of nine holes, score is Palmer and Player, two up. As use home security system. Gary Player is first on the tee, so we can better study the form of these golfers. Let's watch all of the drives here on 10 in slow motion. And as usual, Gary takes that big swing at the ball with a complete follow through. And he hit a beauty right down the center about uh, 245 yards. Arnold Palmer is up. Palmer also hits a fine drive right down the middle. Just about five yards behind his partner's ball. Jack Nicholas now driving. And watch how he gets those hips into the shot. Jack says his legs are the key to his great power. Nicholas booms one right down the middle, splitting the fairway and out about 245 yards. Mike Suchak, another of golf's longest hitters. Oh, it looks like Mike has faded that ball. The ball runs into the clear. But it looks like it's coming to rest next to a big wood covering of a drainage ditch. Now the boards on this drainage ditch are going to interfere with Suchak's stance, so the official referee has ruled that he gets a free drop on his second shot. Mike drops the ball over his left shoulder behind the drainage ditch. Mike is going to hit a two iron. He's going to have to belt this one. It's all uphill to the terrace green with plenty of traps in his way. And Mike cracks it. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. The ball hits on the front edge of the green, runs toward the flag, and stops less than 20 feet. 
in the cup. Such has hit a great two iron shot. And he feels good about that one. Arnold Palmer hit his drive about 240 yards, center of the fairway. Arnie has about 155 yards left. He's going to use a five iron. It's uphill all the way, and he's hitting into a slight wind. Palmer pushes that shot a little bit. It's going to be on the right side. Ball stops short of the green, about 10 feet off the carpet. Gary Player hitting from the center of the fairway, also using a five iron for his second shot to the green. Player hits it nicely. The ball is on the green, runs up to about 15 feet from the cup. Gary has put his approach inside Mike Suchak's fine shot. Jack Nicholas with a long drive here in the 10th hole is hitting a five iron. He too is going against the wind and uphill. Nicholas puts it right on the green, slightly past the pin, has backspin and comes back towards the cup. Nicholas will have a putt of about 18 feet for his birdie three. Arnold Palmer is short of the green in two. He's using a wedge with about 30 feet to go. Palmer and player are two up as we go into the last half of today's match, the first of two challenges by Mike Suchak and Jack Nicholas. They must win this first match in order to play the second. And if they win both of them, they can win $15,000. And Arnie sends that shot on a perfect line. He just misses the cup on the right, and the ball stops six feet away. Mike Suchak hit a great second shot. He's putting for a birdie three from about 20 feet. Such has a tough putt. And Mike throws it right into the hole. A fine birdie three by Suchak here on this tough 10th hole. And Mike is mighty pleased about the whole thing. Now that puts the pressure squarely on Gary Player. He has a 15-foot putt to tie Mike Suchak. And if he doesn't make it, their lead will be cut in half. It looks like it's on line, and then the putt veers off to the left at the last second. And Gary thought he had that one for sure. So Suchak wins the hole with a birdie three. After 10 holes of play, Palmer and Player are now only one up. Every so often, a significant innovation celebrates the premiere of Arnold Palmer, Belt's Heart and Soul, with special programming and classic highlights all week long. The 11th hole is a beautifully landscaped par five, very dangerous. It's 545 yards long, curling dog leg to the left. From the elevated tee, the golfer sees five huge fairway bunkers which endanger his drive. And as he gets closer to the green, he must steer clear of 10 more traps, reaching from 100 yards out all the way to the green. The green is undulating very large. We've got an awful long five par here today, especially into the wind, and it's uh, very well bunkered. I think there's probably about 14 bunkers on this hole, and it'll be most difficult to get there in two, but I've got a partner that uh, I think can get the job done, if anybody can. Why not? Here is Nicholas in slow motion. Jack hit that off to the right a little bit, and that's going to be a long way from the green. But in the fairway. My partner says that I can get home. Well, come on, partner, you get home. Perfect. If he carries the bunkers, he'll be out perfect position to get home in two. Come on, Mike. He did carry the bunkers, and Mike can get home in two from where he is now. Absolutely perfect. Really big, Mike. Nice hit. Carey's had a good drive, but look, I don't know whether he'll carry the bunkers or not. 
And yes, Gary carried the bunkers too. Gary's in perfect position. Here at Pass Suchek. Well, yeah. there's another big hit. Absolutely perfect. Right down the middle. On their second shots, Palmer, Player, and Nicholas all wound up short of the green. Player caught one of the well-placed traps in the fairway, while Palmer and Nicholas will have pitch shots to the green. Now, Mike Suchak hitting his second shot. Mike has a chance to reach the green in two on this 545-yard hole. He's hitting a three-wood. And Mike belts it. That looks like a fine shot. Lands on the front edge of the green and stops there. Suchak is home in two with a chance for an eagle. But he's about oh, 70 feet away from the cup. On their third shots, Palmer, Player, and Nicholas all pitched onto the green. Player is 30 feet short of the pin. Jack Nicholas is about 13 feet past the pin. And Arnold Palmer is about six feet from the cup. Mike Suchak was the only one to reach the green in two, but he's 70 feet away on the front edge. It's uphill all the way. Mike will really have to hit this one. He is putting for an eagle three on this very long and difficult par five hole. Mike hits it solidly. He's got about 70 feet. That's a long way to go. The ball is still short. Stops about 12 feet from the cup. Palmer and Player are talking strategy here. Gary is 30 feet out, lying three, and he's actually away. But it's my guess that he'll probably ask Arnold to putt for his birdie four from three feet away, and that'll put the pressure on Nicholas and Suchak. Yeah, Arnie's going to putt first. And Palmer knocks it in for a fine 34 on this tough 11 pole. Now, the pressure is on Suchak and Nicholas. One of them has to sink to have the hole. Mike has a 12-foot putt here for his birdie. Remember, Nicholas and Suchak have challenged for two matches, and they can collect $15,000. Mike still has an uphill putt here, and the ball should break a little left. It curls left and just <laughs> runs around the right side of the cup. So Suchak needs three putts to get down here on 11. After being on the green in two, he has to settle for a par five. Now, that leaves it squarely up to Jack Nicholas. He has a 12-foot downhill putt, but he must make it or they'll fall two down in the match. It's online. Does it have enough speed? Yes, it falls right over the front lip of the cup, and Nicholas comes through with a big pressure putt. He sinks a big 12-footer to match Palmer's birdie four. So Nicholas and Suchak remain one down. Palmer and player after 11 holes of play. What is the... The 12th hole at Palma Valley is a par 3, 208 yards long. This hole was halved in pars. So going to the 13th tee, Palmer and player remain one up over Nicholas and Suchak. The 13th hole is a par 4, 378 yards long. It is another heavily trapped hole with four bunkers on the right side of the fairway and five traps encircling the green. All four players had good drives, but Gary Player and Mike Suchak missed the green on their approach shots. Arnold Palmer wedged to within nine feet of the cup, while Jack Nicholas will have a 20-foot putt for his birdie three. On their third shot, shipping from back of the green, Gary Player and Mike Suchak were very close to the hole and were conceded par fours. And now Jack Nicholas has a 20-foot putt for his birdie three. And he and Mike Suchak talk this over very carefully. Now, it looks like a pretty straight putt from here. Jack pushes his cap back on his head. Now he gets down to work. Notice that Jack keeps his right shoulder very low and his head behind the ball. The ball does break slightly and curls toward the cup, but it stops two inches short. 
There's a tough way to miss a birdie, but Jack will have to settle for his par. Arnold Palmer has a nine foot putt to win the hole and sent his team two up here on the 13th green. Now there is Arnold's very solid putting grip, the reverse overlap style. Arnie uses that grip because he feels it keeps his hands working as a single unit throughout the putting stroke. He's really locked in now. That's the Palmer putting style, familiar to millions and one of the most successful in the history of golf. And there's a perfect example of how Arnie does it. Knocks the ball right in the center of the hole for a 33 to win the hole. And after 13 holes of play, Palmer and player are now two up. The 14th hole is a very long par four, 465 yards. There are large bunkers on both sides of the fairway. The opening to the green is guarded by large trees and presents a very narrow target for the approach shots. The green is also well trapped and the pin is tucked back in the left rear corner. Palmer and player both hit fine drives, splitting the center of the fairway, but Nicholas and Suchak encountered trouble on their tee shots. They both landed in fairway traps and will be faced with long sand shots to the green. Mike's got a shot here of about 215 to 20 yards. Mike is not going to try and reach the green. He's just going to try to play the ball down short of the green. And uh, of course, I'm in, I'm in bad position on the other side of the fairway. I have absolutely no shot at all. And uh, well, we're both going to have to try and get it down in front of the green and try and pitch and putt for our fours. See what Mike does. Oh. Four on the left. Four. Mike has hit not too bad a shot, actually, for what he had. He was trying to get the ball down in front of the green, and looks like he's down in a little valley short of the green. Gary Player hit his drive 255 yards right down the center of the fairway. He has a long second shot through a narrow opening to the green. Gary will be using a two iron, and he has about 210 yards left. Player hits it right on line. That looks like a fine shot. The ball bounces on the front of the green and stops 30 feet from the cup. Gary is safely on in two. Now Jack Nicholas has an almost impossible trap shot here. His ball is lying very close to the edge of the bunker. Jack can't get a solid stance. He'll have to put one foot in the sand, the other on the grass. And he has 200 yards to go to reach the green. But from that position, it seems almost hopeless. He's using a four iron. Jack gets it out. He hits it pretty well. The ball is hooking and winds up short and on the left. It looks like Nicholas now has some overhanging trees to worry about. And he's still in trouble here on 14. Arnold Palmer hit a great drive, 290 yards down the middle. That's his best of the day. Palmer's using a four iron here. Palmer shot is hooking. But it gets through the narrow tree opening and lands on the green. The ball stops a long way from the flag. That's about 240 feet. But both Palmer and player have reached the green on this very long par four hole in two. Mike Suchak is 40 yards from the green after hitting out of the fairway trap. Mike is using a pitching wedge. And he'll have to get it close, for he already lies two, while both his opponents are on the green in two. Suits hits a fine pitch and run shot. The ball runs up, stops just five feet short of the hole. That's a fine pressure approach by Suchak. Jack Nicholas is faced with another shot that's almost impossible. His ball is under a tree. He has practically no clearance. And in addition, there's a trap right in front of his path to the green. Jack punches the ball, but it doesn't quite have enough to go through and over that big trap. 
The ball stops in the bunker. And Jack's in the sand again on the 14th hole, this time lying three. Jack will take his sand wedge, and he'll probably try to hold out. Why not? He has nothing to lose. He lies three already. His partner, Mike Suchak, is five feet from the hole in three. But both Palmer and Player are on in two. Jack explodes it for the cup. The ball hits hole high and stops about five feet past the hole. Well, gave it a try. Arnold Palmer has a 40-foot putt for his birdie three. If he can run it in, they'll win the hole and go three up with only four holes to go. Arnold has the putt on line, but it's going to be short. Stops about two feet from the hole. Player is asking Palmer to go ahead and knock in a two-footer so Gary can then charge his long birdie putt. And Arnie gets it. Palmer has a team's par four. Now, Gary Player has a 30-foot putt for his birdie. He has about the same line as Palmer, so should have learned something from Arnold. A birdie by player will win the hole and put them three up in the match. Oh, Gary banged that one. Ball misses on the right, goes past the hole. But he had nothing to lose as Palmer already had made four, and Gary can pick up. Now that leaves it squarely up to Mike Suchak. He has a five-foot putt to have the hole and hold the margin at two down. And he misses it. The ball slides by on the right side. And Palmer and Player win the 14th hole to take a three-up lead in the match. On the par-4 15th hole, neither team could gain any ground, and the hole was halved. So as the players move to the 16th tee, Palmer and Player are three up with three holes to play. The 16th hole at Palmer Valley is 207 yards, a beautiful par-3 hole. The green is very well trapped with traps going down both sides, the right and left, and a big trap right up in the back of the green. The pin is set well to the right side in the neck of the green. Very difficult shot without much room to hold the shot uh, around the pin. Gary Player will be hitting first, and the match at this point is three up and three to play. Let's watch all the tee shots on this important hole in slow motion. And he has hit a beautiful golf shot. It's going right at the flag. It's going to go up, and it is a little bit long, but a beautiful golf shot just past the pin and dead in line with the hole. This hole here, very small place to land the ball on. You have to hit it a high two iron to carry the ball to the flag. Fortunately, the wind is helping us a bit today. Arnold has a two-on. He's hit it out to the right a bit, and it's got to hurry a bit. And it's caught the sand trap in the front of the, the flag. As I said, this is a very small portion of green to hit, and it's a little further than it actually looks. Arnold didn't quite catch that his best. Yeah, it really is going to be a beauty, Arnie. It's, uh, it's going right at the hole. Looks like it's uh, a little short, yeah, Arnie. Short of the pin quite a ways, I guess. And that's right. It's uh, yeah, it's right on the flag. I can pull his shot, Gary, back to the left side, and he's going to be on the green. Uh, that's quite a long way from the hole. Mike Suchak is putting for a birdie two from 45 feet. This is a big putt. Suchak and Nicholas need a birdie here to stay in the match. Mike gives it a solid wrap. 
but his line is a little off. The ball is on the right side of the cup and goes four feet past. Arnold Palmer's in the bunker at about 40 feet from the hole. Arnie has a good lie and the ball is sitting cleanly on the sand. He digs his feet in solidly for the shot. Palmer is one of the best trap players in the game. Arnie blasts it out of the trap. The ball runs past the hole and stops about five or six feet away. There's another fine explosion shot by Palmer. Jack Nicholas wound up on the apron about 30 feet from the hole. Jack will be using a pitching wedge. And you can be sure he'll be trying to hold this shot. Jack knows it'll take a birdie to win the hole and keep this match alive. They are three down here on 16 and running out of holes. This could be the biggest shot of the match. Jack's taking plenty of time, looking it over very carefully. The ball is heading for the hole, and it hits the cup. The ball jumps out and stops one foot away. Jack had a perfect time, and he thought he had the birdie. There was a fine try under plenty of pressure. And Palmer concedes the par three. Now it's Gary Player's turn. He has a 20-foot birdie putt. He's right on the edge of the green. Gary can two-putt from here and close out the match. He'd be very careful. Try to lag this up close. Oh, Gary went for it. He misses the cup by an inch on the left side and winds up one foot past. Now a player has his putt to end the match. This looks like an easy tap in, but Gary's going to take his time. It might be a one footer, but under pressure like this, even the little ones are tricky. is over. Arnold Palmer and Gary Player have defeated Jack Nicholas and Mike Suchak, three up on the 16th hole. Suchak and Nicholas had challenged for two matches. Since they lost their first round, they will receive a consolation award of $2,000. Palmer and Player had a best ball score of five under par. Suchak and Nicholas were two under after 16 holes. So Palmer and Player win it three and two. We've certainly enjoyed bringing you this match from Palma Valley Golf and Country Club, and we hope that you will join us for our next round of Challenge Golf.